So welcome ladies and gentlemen, we are back on a new video and this time I'm prepared <laughs> for once. So let's dive right into it. We, talk, we will talk about um, parametric equation. I told you before that was a really important topic and it was, you know, something that needed to be clarified. So I've watched the video from Khan Academy. I've watched some other videos in French and let's begin. I try to be as simple as I can because our goal here, remember, is to learn about AI, not mathematics. But we need some basics, some fundamentals of mathematics before diving into AI. So first, we can draw straight lines on any system of coordinates. Uh, it can be in two dimensions or three, dimen three dimensions. It could be always useful for many reasons. Maybe you want to, maybe there's a function, maybe you want to represent any points uh, equal to one or I don't know. You, you always need some straight lines in mathematics. What can we do? We can either plot a straight line or plot a vector plus an origin. Why? Remember, I told you before, a vector is defined by, by its direction and magnitude. And that's it. Your vector is here. Maybe I can select it. Your vector is here, but you can plot it there, for example. Or anywhere, in fact, you can put it anywhere because there is no origin. But what happens if you add an origin to your vector? Your vector is stuck. Remember, your vector is stuck in direction. Your vector is stuck in length. So if you add an origin, your vector is no. There's a non-core. It's, it's stuck in every way, so it can't move any anymore. That's what is really interesting. Now let's pretend you want to get a straight line based on this vector. It can be really, really useful. You, you, you have a vector, maybe, maybe you threw a bullet, a bullet from a gun, and you want to see where it will, it will be going. You want, you plot a straight line. <laughs> I should change my, my examples at some point. <laughs> and you want to know, here you're going to hit somebody at this point. And you want to, you know, be able to know what exact point is this. You know, maybe you want to express it maybe from one parameter. You know, it's at some point how far away it is. That's really good because you can express your points based on three equations. If it's in 3D or two equations, if it's in 2D. Let's say it's in 3D. You have for any points a calculus, which is very easy. So your calculus is in the direction of a vector. So what is really a parametric equation? It's really simple. You take any position from the point you want. So let's say you want a representation. It's a, a representation of a line. A parametric equation is a representation of a line from only a vector of an origin. So you have your origin here. You have your value of vector here. Let's say I had my origin here, which is represented here, and my vectors here, which was 2, 1, 4, which is represented here. And thanks to that, you can plot a line with those three functions. Maybe we could go to, you can go to GeoGebra or something else to plot those three functions in 3D. Let's plot in 2D, maybe only in 2D. And you will get a line with those functions. And how did you get the lines? With the line with your vector and origin. So a parametric equation, you start to understand it can be really useful. So with only one vector, 
and one origin, you get a line. It's defined on a line. What happens if you get two vectors together? That's called a linear combination. It's really simple. In fact, you remember when I, tol I, I talked previously about multiplying a vector by a scalar? Uh, it was around there. I told you you can multiply a vector by a scalar. A scalar is just a number, a real number, that can be multiplied by a vector. Well, it's the definition. So it's, it's yeah, it's really easy. So let's say you multiply, oh, it's not a real number, is it? Yeah, is it? It is, it is. So let's say you want, you have two vectors, V and U. Those two vectors are really random. I took basic, basic vectors. And you can multiply this one by two or this one by minus three and add it to U. And this one also you can multiply by one, by two, by three, whatever. What do we get from the results? Yeah, we get another random, totally random vector. Is it really useful? Yeah. Do you trust me if I tell, told you that those two vectors, they can draw any other vector? Let me repeat. It's really impressive. A simple two dimension vector combined to another can draw the entire vectors into two dimensions. Here is an example from Khan Academy. He has the vector a, three times a is there, so it's the same but bigger. You can also plot b, but minus 4 or minus 6b, minus 2b here. So you have a there, you have b there, but a can also... You can combine the two, so you can do, let's say, you can combine 3a two minus two B and you get this one. You can combine everything together. In fact, let me add subtitles and uh, not in German, maybe. <laughs> Why in German? I don't understand. There's so many spaces, but you can also plot this one three zero. How did you do it? It's really easy. Three A plus minus two B in this example, but you get it. You get the ID. You can plot anything you want because you've got with two random vectors, which are not nil. You can plot, let's say you have your vector one, zero and zero one, which is a system of coordinates. I will go into it later. Or maybe I, I don't care any vectors. You can go as much as far away as you want on the right side. If it's, if your vector is as in the example one and two, if you want to go five to the right, you can do five A and you will be <laughs> in the good position. And if you want go to five to the left, minus five, five A. If you want to go to the top, maybe 10 to the top, you can do five A will go 10 to the top. But you know, you get it from only one vector, two vectors, you can create a combination and go as much as further you go to the right, to the left, to the top and to the bottom. Because you can do one, two, three, four, five. So you can, yeah, it draws it, you can do anything you want and get a combination. There's another thing. You can also draw a line if the two vectors are, are collinear and at the same origin or a, an origin of the on the same line. So you can draw a line, I, as it was the same thing in the parametric equation, but here you can have this in, with two vectors also, or you can draw nothing. That's it. So let's say you want to know the span. We use the parametric equation here to know what the line was. But here, we, we, we can draw more than a line. We can draw with two vectors, the entire real numbers. All the, the real vectors can be drawn. So 
or the two dimensions vector can be drawn. So, how to know it? Uh, it's it's not really similar. Here, you can do a combination. Let's say it's 2 plus 1. Here, you have k1, which is like your 2 previously. Here, you have k2, which was your 1 previously. So, let's say it's a random number. It could be x1 or x2. k1 times your first vector plus k2 times your second vector is equal to we don't know and we are looking for that so we get this equation which gives you the value of k1 and k2 but remember we we can plot any vector we want so k1 and k2 are not are variables they are not defined you know so let's try to represent any vector based on this if you want to plot this to get this vector we can just get k1 equal 2 and k2 equal equal minus minus 2 third based on our calculus and is it really true let's see k1 equal 2 so 2 times 1 equal 2, you got your first one, and 2 times 2 equal 4. Okay, we got 2 and 4. Then k2 times 0 equals 0, so we got our 2 confirmed, it's okay. And the second one is minus 2 two thirds. So we had 4 here, minus 2 thirds times 3, which is... <laughs> 2, so we get um, 4 minus 2, which is equal to 2. So it's okay. We got, we proved the correlation. I will write it for you, maybe, if you want. But it was very easy to prove. We had 2 times for k1. 1 and 2 and minus 2 thirds times 0 or 3 and remember it was an equation based on 2 and 2 so we, we replaced the x and the y in our, parameter, in our parameters we were really easy to find, to find. And we get 2, 4, minus 0, and 3 times 3, 2, which is equal to 2, 2. So it's proved. But you know, these two vectors can draw anything. It's really important because that's the basic of a coordinate system. A coordinate system, it's just two vectors, let's say the vectors i and j, they're just two vectors, they are just two vectors. And we as we can represent a vector based on another, that's why they are really important. Because thanks to that, we can draw anything we want into this system, we can fit anything. So I guess it's all for today. I'm maybe I wasn't really clear, but don't worry. It's just a video. Soon I will make a recap when I ended in all those series of video. I'm also learning with you because I'm trying to remember things. And once it's over, I will put that into text and create maybe a beautiful PDF for you to understand. So that's it for today, folks. And see you soon. Bye.